Last month, Xiaomi unveiled the Mi Band 5, an impressive fitness tracker for just about 32 US dollars. Sadly, it was only going to be available in China. But good news for those of us living elsewhere, the company just unveiled a global variant of the device alongside a slate of new products like an Android TV dongle, true wireless earbuds, an electric scooter, and a curved gaming display. The Mi Smart Band 5 packs a lot of features for a heck of a lot cheaper than options from Fitbit and Garmin, and you can get it for 40 euros in Europe and the UK. Xiaomi hasn't shared US pricing yet though. The version that will be coming to the rest of the world has a few omissions, with NFC being the most notable. It will also have fewer watch face options, just 65 compared to the 100 plus on the original, and just six strap variants as opposed to eight in China. We'll also be missing the company's Xiaoai digital assistant here, but for an international audience, that seems like the right move. The Mi Smart Band 5 still has most of the important features though, like 14-day battery life, a 1.1-inch color touchscreen, water resistance, continuous heart rate monitoring, and sleep tracking. The new Mi Band improves on the older version too by adding women's health tracking for menstrual and ovulation cycles. It also features a new magnetic charging base that finally lets you juice up without having to first remove the module from the strap. The Mi Band 5 will also be able to track 11 workouts, including new additions like yoga, rowing, and jumping rope. That's a very impressive set of features for the price, especially considering Fitbit and Garmin's cheapest options cost at least $70. Fitbit's cheapest is the Inspire, which starts at $70 but is on sale now for $50. That model doesn't have a heart rate sensor though. For that, you'll have to spend $20 more on the Inspire HR. Meanwhile, Garmin's cheapest is the Vivo Fit, which starts at $80, has a tiny non-touch screen, and doesn't have a heart rate monitor either. Xiaomi has come a long way from its earlier days when it was largely known for outrightly ripping off the designs of iPhones. Nowadays, the Chinese company has its own distinct look and sells a ton of different products in addition to phones and wearables, like e-bikes, rice cookers, water purifiers, and smart lights. Xiaomi doesn't make all these things itself, it just has a stake in a ton of smaller businesses that specialize in those devices. Still, the company is slowly but surely making a name for itself with its pretty, affordable devices that those of us outside of China might be eyeing curiously and hopefully may be able to buy in the US soon. For more reviews of wearables and buying advice on the best fitness tracker for your budget, make sure to subscribe to Engadget. And as always, thank you for watching.